Hi guys, welcome back. I am here today to continue with part three of Fairy Celebrations page. We're going to work on the background. I have, tr I tried to use a lot of the colors that was in, cause this is what I'm coloring. A lot of the colors that was in this um, picture here on the front cover. However, once you see it, I kind of took my own route with this little guy and with the beetles. I kind of took my own route with that as well as the wood. But today we are going to work on, let's see where we are. I have a blotter page back there, really thick. As you can see, my little guy is blue and purple, um, both of them, and I finish the leaves. I'm going to pan you out some. As you can see here, I have my distressed inks. I have my distressed ink tools and my paint brushes or... Let's hope I don't waste anything. <laughs> my paint brushes are here in this little Dollar Tree stand. This was the best dollar I ever spent. I love it. And for the door and around the heart, around the window, um, we are going to use these. It's been a long time since you've seen these on my channel, probably the last time you've seen them. They were in my haul video. This is the acrylic, acrylic art ink. This is the metallic set. I have three different sets. I have a neon set and the regular primary set, but we're gonna use these for the door. My door will be bronze. All The whole door is gonna be bronze. Um, and my door handle's going to be gold. Around the heart's going to be gold. And around the window's going to be gold. All of these little dots are going to be gold as well. So that's why I chose the bronze door. Because I was putting a lot of gold. And I'm going to take my um, Pentel gel pens. The dual hybrid metallics. And go around my bows with the gel pen. We're probably not going to finish today, but today we are going to start off with the background and off camera. I finished the leaves, not real happy with them, but oh well. And I colored in all this. I colored my little guys. I colored the beetles, the bow here. So that's what we're going to work on today is basically the background and we're going to color the door with the acrylic art inks. I have a little small palette that I use for those inks and I have a cutting mat down. Those Dollar Tree cutting mats are just awesome. So let me bring you closer and well, I guess I'm going to leave you like this for right now because I'm going to pick out because you're um I have the book on the easel you're not going to be able to see me um pick out the colors I want to do a black a black I want to do a green and a brown background No nails makes it hard for me to get these little distressed inks out. So I'm just going to pick out some browns. Let's try Rusty Hinge. I have peeled paint. Um, I don't, I'm not going to go as dark as um, aged mahogany. So let's put that one to the side. Let's go to the next um, case. We are going to take out um, mm, 
I'm gonna take out Vintage Photo. I think Walnut Stain is gonna be too dark. So we're not gonna take that one out just yet, but we're gonna test out some colors. And we need another green. We're gonna take out Peeled Paint. Maybe we'll take out Gathered Twigs. I'm gonna take out Gathered Twigs because we're gonna go Do I want to go dark to light? Pill paint. Oh, I have two of pill paint. I didn't realize I have two of pill paint. All right, so let me go in here and pick out another green. I'm definitely lacking the greens, so. That's what I need to work on. Um, I think crushed pistachio is have too much. We'll take out the crushed pistachio and twisted centron, but I don't know if those are gonna work. I definitely need to work on my. All right, we have a piece of paper here. And we're gonna test out some colors. Okay, I'm definitely thinking pale paint is gonna work. So let's try pale paint. Okay, so peel paint is definitely going to work. I like that color. So we're going to go with peel paint. Okay, I'll use this brush for the peel paint. And I'll use this smaller brush. Let's see what brown we're going to use. I think I want to use a darker brown and a lighter brown. Let's see that's pretty dark but it goes well with the so we're going to use this one and I have the little things under but I'm just going to use these for right now so we're going to use the smaller one for the gathered twigs I want a lighter brown, like a really, really light. Let's check this color out. This is Rusty Hinge. No, there's too much red in that one. So I'm gonna try Scattered straw. <clears throat> so let's try scattered straw. This is not scattered straw. I'm just cleaning off my brush. I guess you're saying I should have did this beforehand. But I wanted to pick out my colors with you guys. That's a little, that's light enough. So that's cool. All right, so those are the three colors we're going to use for so the background. Scattered straw, peel, peeled paint, and gathered twigs. So that's what we're going to use for the background. All right, so I'm going to put some of each one of these on the brush because it'll be enough on the brush once I... Put it on because I'm going to rub most of it off because I want to go really light for the background. All right. So that's for that one. And let's 
let's get a little bit of this light color, which I'm really not happy about. But we're going to use it anyway. Okay, so we're going to start off with the green. And this is my green on here. I want to rub some of it off. Well, most of it off, so I won't get the harsh lines. Just go really soft. And we're just gonna go really soft and put this on. We're gonna mix it with the brown. So I'm gonna save some spots where I can go in and put those browns. I'm gonna move it up a little bit so you can see exactly how I'm doing this. And if it's if the color gets on a flower, you can just wipe it off. Okay, I think we're pretty good with enough green. Distressed inks are very easy to use. Let's put some more down here. Okay, I think we have enough green on the page. I wanna put a little bit of darker, get it a little bit darker in certain areas. Let's go a little darker here, here, and I'm just applying more pressure. That noise is me hitting my easel down here at the bottom. See, I put more here. We're just putting more in certain areas. All right. So now we're going to go in with, I think I want to put some more darker color here around the edge. Okay. So now we're gonna go in with um, the gathered twig. I'm gonna brush a lot of it off. Okay. And we're just gonna put it like out around this house and in certain areas to break up the monotony of all of that green. Let's put some here. I think I want a little bit more. Just a little, not much. I'm gonna rub my paper so I won't have too much. They kind of blend in together, which is cool. Like we need some brown in here. I don't know, I guess I'm pulling too much off, but I don't want to go in with too much, even though I can pull it off, pull it off the page. There we go. Let's put some brown here, put a little brown here. And all of the light spots. Sorry about my chair. You guys know I have a noisy chair. I'm gonna get some more brown. Just a bit. I don't know, it's like my brush is 
eating the brown, but I don't want to. Put too much. I think I can use a little bit more brown, but we're gonna go in with that lighter color. Let's put a little bit here. Distressed things are cool, but I guess I'm just so used to uh, the chalk pastels. All right. I'm just kind of blending out all those really light spots. And now we're gonna go in with that tan. All right, it looks okay. I need some here. But we're gonna go in with the tan right there. All right. Let's go in with the tan. It's a really light. But I like the tan. Get a little bit more. There we go. And we're just gonna bring that tan in. See another spot. I want to add some more tan. I like those little bits of brown. Let's put a little bit right there. Let's put a little bit. Gonna go on this edge and add some tan and all the horse lines that I put down. We're gonna go around and pick it up. Put that tan around the edge. those harsh tan lines that needs to be alrighty do I, do, do I need more green I think it's okay we're gonna leave it like it is all right <clears throat> So let me just get all the color out of these so I can store them. Any section too light? Just making sure all my sections are 
Nothing's too light. Okay. I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring you closer. And now we are going to take the gold and well first um, we'll do the gold first yeah we'll do the gold because as soon as we do the gold i'm gonna have to stop the video and then we'll come back but it, you won't really see all of that because i want to lay it flat all right so here's my little tray i'm about to fill my little tray with the acrylic art inks. See guys, I use my, <laughs> all the crap I buy, I use it. Okay, we're gonna use the gold and I've already tested the colors to make sure they were the colors I wanted. I just need to shake them up because that was a couple of hours ago. See, it's a beautiful, beautiful bronze. Beautiful. Okay, and it has a, I like a pipette. Well, we could just take a little bit and you're going to see a fly. There's a freaking fly in here that's driving me insane. One, once you buy this, it will last forever. What's that? The gold? Yeah, we don't need that much gold. So that's enough gold. We're gonna use a fair amount of bronze on that door. So, let's pour a little bit. All right, there we go. All right. So, we're gonna start with, and I already have a brush. Here we go. And these are just regular Master's Touch brushes from um, I'm moving up a little bit because I don't want to hit the camera. Okay. We have our colors. And we're going to do the gold first around. And I could have easily used gel pen for this, but I really wanted to use these inks. So let's get started. And once I'm done, I'll go back in with um, a black multi-liner and put my black lines back in. And it'll look all nice and polished. Could have actually used a smaller brush. This one is small, but I could have, could have actually used one that was actually smaller than this. And it's very shiny. You can't see it right now, but once it dries, it's extremely shiny. Probably need to bring you in more so you can see. And once it dry a little bit, I'm gonna add a second coat, maybe even a third coat of the ink. Because you can build it, you can uh, put many layers. And the more layers, the more bright and vibrant and shiny it gets. You can't really see the shine now, but once it dry, you will definitely be able to see the shine. 
Okay, let's go ahead and put, do our gold heart. It's kind of like colored pencil, layer and layer and layer. Go in really light with your first layer and just keep building it up because I've been experimenting with these. So I know you have to kind of build your layers. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a sec. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and work on our handle. Which I know I should have probably did the handle last. Let's go ahead and work on our handle. Okay, we're going to let that layer dry. And once we finish with our bronze, I need a larger brush for the bronze. Not too large, though. See, I think this will work good. All right. I'm going to come back in and put all of these black lines back in. I'm gonna move you down. And a key with the alcohol, I'm sorry, with the acrylic art ink, less on your brush is possible. Less is possible. You don't wanna go in with a lot of ink on your brush. Since I have a lot on my brush, I'll go to this larger area and try and dry my brush off a little bit. little bit at a time because it will run and drip in any area that may seem a little light in color you can always come back and add more so don't saturate your page And my brush is like an angled brush. There's probably a proper name for it. I don't know it. But my brush is like an angled brush. 
So that's how I'm able to get around those, the handle like that in the, definitely time consuming but it's gonna be worth it in the end it's gonna be really pretty this little small brush is cramping my hands can't wait to finish this damn door <laughs> My hand's cramping. Okay, let's go over here. Since I have a lot of ink on my brush. Uh-oh, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna... I had never really used these like swatching them out yeah but today just playing around with them and experimenting with them and seeing exactly what they could and couldn't do it was really it was really fun and they can actually do a lot they can do a lot it's just you need to let them dry between layers. Once you let them dry and put light layers, you're good. There. I have a Q-tip. Just a little bit got up there, not much. All right, so what else do I need to, after this dry, We're going to work on, oh, we have to go back to the gold. After this dries. I hope everyone's doing well today. We're going to let that dry. And you can't really see. Even if I move you closer, you can't really see. But it's really, really shiny. It's really, really shiny. But I'm going to move you out. Because we're going to go back to the gold. And we're going to put another layer of gold. On the window. And your second layer is really when you start to get that shine. Let's 
it's definitely going to be a part four. Definitely. But we'll finish them. Part four. Part four will be all embellishments. Like our stickles and putting, um, fixing all the dots and putting the gold around all the bows and stuff like that. So part four is we'll just do embellishments. And putting our black lines back after this dry to make the picture look more polished. So that's what we're doing for part four. All right. Got that. <clears throat> we're going to go back. And how is... Okay. It dries pretty fast. We're going to go back. And I think I want a larger brush. I'm going to get a larger brush now that we have our first layer down of the bronze. Just make sure you pull all of that color off. All right, here we go. And we may have to go in with a smaller brush, with that detail brush, and get around our, like go around the heart and around the edges. Definitely gonna go in with our detail brush. I got a little bit on the where's my cute tip? On the handle. Okay, we're gonna go over it with gold again. All right, let's go in with this smaller detail brush and get our corners and around the edges. All right, we have our bronze door. And we're gonna go in with the gold again and touch up where we hit with the bronze. So we're just gonna go in with this gold and touch everything up. Alrighty, that is all we're going to do today. This is 40 minutes. <laughs> we didn't do much, but we're going to let this dry. And on part four, which is our final part, we will add all of our embellishments and add all of our black lines back in our door, you know, just in, in places I need to add the black lines back, what we have colored over and painted over guys thank you for watching if you have any questions 
about anything, please feel free to drop a comment. I did purchase the acrylic art inks at Walmart. However, um, my Ross now, now have them. They didn't have all of the colors, but they had some of the colors. So if you have a Ross in your area, check your Ross. Um, cause they were, how much was, I don't even remember how much they were at Walmart. I think I got these back in March or maybe sometime like that. Maybe even before, I don't remember, but check them out. They're nice. Um, you really get some nice shine, nice metallic colors. I like them. They're fairly easy to work with. Guys, thank you for watching. Leave a comment below. I appreciate it. And on part four, we will wrap up this picture. Finally, right? Yeah, we're going to wrap it up. And tell me what you think about the picture so far. Tell me what you would change about it if you wanted to change something about it. Guys, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.